Hi, Jonna. This is a quick overview of your site. Um, once you log in with the username and password, you're, you're at the dashboard, and you know this from uh, WordPress.com. The thing I really wanted to show you was the um, translation, the way to work uh, with translations and things like that. Um, so you arrive at the dashboard. I'm going to put in a a little box here that's going to have your sort of site instructions and resources. So you'll have a, another little box here. Uh, you can always go up to your screen options and hide and uh, you know that's what I just did there. I got rid of some of these things here just to clean up the dashboard for you because you don't really need all this stuff. Like even this multi-language thing you don't really need. It's just giving you information that you don't really need. So I'll clean up the dashboard. I'll put a Google Analytics in there too so you can get all your uh, information on how many people are visiting your website. But what you want to know is the uh, translation. Now it's a plugin called WPML. Uh, this is basically all the setup of everything. There's only one thing you'll ever maybe once or twice go in is a string translation. But it, it's already been set up for you, so I can even actually get rid of this menu for and, and hide it uh, if you want it at some point. Um, We'll, we'll just start right in with our pages. So click on pages and you know this from WordPress. You've done all your, your pages before, but now you're gonna have actually two columns here. You're gonna have your, your English and over here your French flag is your French translation. A plus C sign means add, like add a translation, and this is edit. Once a pencil, it usually means that it's already been created and you can go in and edit it. And this means that, well, you've probably changed the English one, so you may want to refresh or, or change something on the French one since you did uh, an update to the English one. Logically, the program thinks, well, you must need an update to the French one, which you may or may not need sometimes. And this is most likely where you'll, you'll be using it in French. If you're a francophone, just keep this up on, on French. And it actually does the inverse. It switches all the French ones that were in you know, over here uh, and puts the English ones in this column because you'll probably be working on the French side of the website uh, mostly anyway. And if you don't do a translation or something like that, probably most likely in your post, you're only going to do the French ones and not worry too much about the English ones. Just create a, a French one. Don't bother doing an English one or, or however you want to do it. Um, you also notice the dashboard's in English. Well, if you go to under Users and Your Profile, if you wanted to change it to Francophone, just go to the very bottom here, and it says your admin language, and you can turn it to French and update your profile, and you'll notice that the dashboard uh, turns to French. Page, uh, Artique, uh, you may have done the French version in WordPress.com, I don't know, but you can work in the dashboard in French and English. This has nothing to do with the front of the website. This is just the dashboard. So I'm going to put the back to Metajour Le Profil because I'm English. I'm going to do this in English uh, just in case I'm not 100% sure if you are more comfortable in French or English since you sound perfectly bilingual. So uh, back to pages. Uh, what I've done for the site has I've added all your because you had French and English on the same page from the last site. So that's what I did. I put all the all the French and English on the English side and on the French side. Um, so what you're going to need to do, I'm just going to go back to the English side, keep this. I like, personally, because I'm English, I like to have all the English ones on this side and the French translations, but you can work the inverse as well. Um, let's open Food Bank. I think I've done Collective Kitchen, the first one. So you'll notice this is the English side of the website. It says English up here. Uh, so if you look at this, well, there's, there's French here. So let's get rid of the the French part here will keep your picture and you know there we go so and we'll update that so this is the French the French uh, sorry this is the English side but over here this is what I meant to say is the language this is your language switcher so the language of this page is English you don't need a professional translation you can actually It'll tell you how much it costs to translate this, actually. It would cost $9 if you want to send it off to a professional translator. But uh, I, I can even remove this blue box. You probably don't need it. But what you need here is your translation. So if, if it says show on yours, just make sure you show it because you'll actually see. Let's go over and edit the French translation. So what happens here? Food bank. I've already set it up that it's Banque Elementaire. So that's why it's kind of like, oh, it's already done. Well. It's not automatic, I put, I put those in. But you'll see at the top here it's French. 
and you'll probably want to do keep your French side of course and just remember just delete your English uh, text here so now you'll have a perfectly bilingual website um, we'll do that for every page uh, down the whole list and when you come up to your to your website here we'll go to the English side uh, what was that services offered food bank so you've come to food bank you'll see that it's food bank it's uh, in in English and if we click on the French button it takes you to Banque Alimentaire now I haven't fixed up the menu or anything like that but we should talk and see just fine-tune everything uh, for the website how you wish to have this um, uh, template set up because I'm gonna do really customize this template for you so that's perfect uh, how you want it so you, you shouldn't go around switching templates because not all of them have French translations and not of them all of will, will be set up properly especially with the French English button this is cut has to be custom uh, in there also the sliders in here we can actually go work on that that's just when you're logged in you'll have little edit buttons and things on things so this is the slideshow there's three images there you can add the images here you probably want a long uh, image that's well it tells you here 960 by 280 um, if you click on a f you'll notice that there was some text on them if you click on the, f the first photo here it you see that there's the photo uh, you can link this photo so when somebody clicks on the link you could link it to a page inside your website so this is like we can link it to well we want to do on the English side uh, maybe the contribute page I don't know so we can just take that URL copy it bring it back over to the slideshow stick it in there so this we don't want to open a new window we want to open the same window and uh, when people click on the image it'll take them to a, a page deeper in but what's your your in, you know, I'll just apply the changes oops sorry come back HTML markup this is I don't know if you know any HTML, but what you can do is copy and paste this into every one. And what you need to do is just change. This is a heading three, and this is the give a bit of your time is a heading three, and this is a paragraph. So this is the paragraph right there that you want to keep in between that that text to give you this um, this text here. There's the H3 title and then there's this thing. The fun thing about this thing is it kind of glides in. That's why I did a little bit of special HTML. You see it kind of glided in like that. It's a little bit of effect. If you don't want that effect you can forget the HTML stuff and just type in the text. Uh, so that's about it. You'll see that the the pages are really wide and there's nothing on the side here. Well um, we just have to add some widgets and this will pop it over and you'll see some things on the side. Now you've probably you've already added widgets, so I know you know what the the widgets are. They're under here, and that would be the main sidebar. You see, there's no there's no no widgets in here, but you could bring in whatever recent posts, uh, your categories or something like that, uh, and some text like I don't know. Oh, haha! Wait, the text one I should show you since multi language. There's a, a multilingual text. Use that one instead. Here, let's delete that or slide it over. Multilingual text instead of the text one because you can choose, just show this on the English side. Automatically add paragraphs. So you can go our address in whatever the address is. Save. So that'll only show up on the English side of the, the website. Here, close that. And then you grab another multilingual text, put it right underneath and say uh, whatever Notre address and then not multilingual multilingual means show on both sides but if it was just a picture you could show it on both sides use the multilingual but since it's going to be text you're going to want to leave that as French and then save that so now when we go over to our pages here you'll see that our widgets show up so there you go all right uh, you may want to translate the categories, or I think I already did it for you. Yeah, I did. So there you go. <laughs> All right, so have fun. Talk to you later. Bye.